Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share with you、uh, a game, and then let's see how it works. Okay, so、uh, let's do this. So basically, you can see this is the gameplay. When money's X Y fall into、uh, shark's X Y, then shark gain one point. So you can see. Yeah, but be careful of the plastic bags and trash. Because once the the shark touch the 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 trash, then you lose the game. It's game over. You see, game over. Okay, game over. I got nine nine dollars. Okay, so that's star. See how this game works. Basically, okay. So if you tap the screen. And then this is how I do the web. Okay, so basically, if you see here, good flash. Okay, so see when I tap the screen, uh, the the wave start going up and down in a different time, right? So this is the.、Uh, So this is how he set up. So when I tap the screen, right, tap the screen, and doing the loop animation, and I have different delays. For example, ah,、uh, different on the different wave. One I delay zero point five. One I delay zero three point zero six point zero two, and then. I do the only Y transition. You see X. I didn't put anything. So first wave, I make the Y slightly go down, and then it since it's loop animation, so you will loop any every during one second, and then the second wave, third wave, you see the Y slightly different. So it creates this kind of wave illusion. So this is how I set up the whole thing. Okay, so this is how I set up the whole thing. Okay, so this is the、uh, wave, and then let's go to the loop animation. Let's see the shark. This one, shark. Okay, this is the shark animation. Okay, so, okay, so. Take out this. So as for shark animation, let me show with you. You see, there are three frames, and then I make the sharp shark kind of like looping the animation. So this is how how it works. So、uh, I create assets. You see down here. So this is shark one, shark two, shark three. So, see, so this is kind of like looping like this on its own. So when I tap the screen,、uh, okay. So when I tap the screen, you see the shark. The shark just do its own thing, right? Right. Okay. So when tapping, so I use tap and loop animation, and I have different delays. So zero, zero, two, zero, four within zero point six, and it's loop. You see, it's loop. And then I use、uh, option switch. So set to zero, cause I have three frames. Right. I make an animation sequence. And then I use current frame, so yeah. So there are three frames, one, two, three, right? So、uh, when you delay zero, it set to set to zero. Delay zero point two, set to one. The 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 the, the second frame, and delay zero point four, set to the third frame. So keep looping. Okay. 
and let's go to the um, like money part. So I I also loop the money. Okay, so let's see what money the the, the money visual coding. Okay, so I delay because if you see all the money, it starts from the top five hundred y five hundred to down minus five hundred, and I kind of make it slightly a little diagonal falling because I find out that if you fall down just direct, it's a little boring. So I kind of on purposely I kind of having a little bit of diagonal dynamic falling. So yeah, so this is how I fall. So within one unit, it will start looping this. And then my, I also use unpack, make sure at the end, uh, I can check whether the money's x, y equals the shark's x, y. Okay, so those three are the same. Okay, so I need to make sure whether money's x equals sharks. Let me show you shark. Okay, so as for shark, I use the same thing, but if you go back to the shark, I use uh, when the head turning right. So going here, uh, yeah, going here, I create a uh, head rotation. If you create a head rotation, you will go, those code will come up. And then I use turn right. Right. Okay. So let me shrink this down. So I have this shark. So basically, it's uh like okay. So I I need to make sure that uh the shark is starting from this position, which is minus. 300. I didn't change the y value, I just changed the uh, x from minus x if my head okay let's see if my head is you know centered it start with minus 150 here but if I turn right it will go to the 150 Right, so I only use turn right. I didn't use any turn left because I registered my original point at uh, the left side of the screen. Yeah. Okay. So. So this is the shark. Okay. So I need to check whether the money's x y equals sharks x y. So those are the x. This is make sure whether money's x equals shark, shark's x, and the tolerance is around fifty pixel. So yeah, this is um, money three's y. Make sure whether it is equals shark's y and tolerance is fifty. So um, so for the three, yeah, and I change slightly change the delay. So make sure it has different rhythm and then those two need to be the same right no those two need to be the same sharks x y equals money's x y so i use and and as for or is to make sure that if there's any one dollar hits the shark so i use or so those two if there's any money hits the shark or if there's any money hits the shark just one then let's add increase the value but okay so let me but 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 there's but we need to make sure the game is not over right so let's go back to here later and then i use count so every time increase the the score right and then make sure 
we set the maximum count as large as possible. Okay, so okay, so let's go to the gameplay. Okay, so you see shark, right? I make shark. Okay, so uh, okay, so let's see the trash. Okay, so I made like a two trash. So when you tap the screen, those two trash similar to money while falling down. So it's the same. I use loop and then I make a different duration. So it's a little slower than money. Then it starts from uh, 150 to minus 150 for the X part and then Y part is from uh, 500 pixel to minus 500 pixel so yeah so and I unpack it so make sure those two you can ch check the X value and Y value for those two same here right okay so yeah, I use different delay and I loop it. Yeah, so yeah, so this is oh, and then this I start with minus to positive, negative to positive. So the diagonal is like this. So as for shark, you need to start moving because if you are staying here, another diagonal one will hit. So you couldn't really stay. So you have to keep moving your head. Okay. Those are trash. Okay, so trash is the same. Make sure if the trash is X equals sharks X and tolerance to 50. And trash is Y equals sharks Y. Either one trash hits the shark. So I use or. This is one set, this is one set. If either trash hits the shark, then let's turn on game over, right? And then if not, right? If it is not game over, it means what? It means, so, so this one is one not game over, right? So with the previous, money fall if you check one and then two of them both exist both true then increase one score so that's how i set up and because uh at the beginning you see okay let me show you this at the beginning right money doesn't fall and then trash doesn't fall because I have to hit this one. I need to hit, right? I need to tap the screen, right? So this tap, how this go? It means that after that you tap the, the screen, you will go back to zero, right? So how does this go? Okay, so this one, fresh it's the original star okay so this one means that here when I tap right when I tap it I switch back and jump to zero so when I tap again you jump back to zero and start again over again so this is best for for example like get over okay let's do a one get over let's hit the plastic bags okay. actually i just stay here and i will hit it okay so tap to replay and you see the dollar is zero and i don't know why it's it's going weird okay it's fine. Okay, so yeah, so when I tap to replay, then it start going back to zero. So this is that function.
Okay, so let's see how code works. So this is the score, right? So、uh, I made a score. There's text. Okay, so what's text? Text is this USD, and number is this number. Okay, so basically, I mean this number jump increase, right? So okay, so let's let me share with you the code. Okay, so first, this you need to make sure those module you need to call the scene and call the patches. Similar to Unity, you need to call everything at the beginning. And then how to access the objects? Okay, so you make sure you, you create a variable, and then you find that number. This number is here, right? You you find scene root and find your number, and you create a variable called score number, and then、um, you get the value of the score. Okay, so here, so first you create a script, and you go to script and to script you add this. And then you add a number, and then change this name to score. So what you find is this guy. It's this guy. Okay, so patch get scale value, then you find score, right? So then later on, so once you have this, go here and click here. You create this. And then you need to find that score. You go to pitch, get scale value. Basically, it's number. It's the num. It's the previous setup you set. So this score means this score. This score. Okay. Then that's count to stream. The increase, so the text equals score number. You get the value, and then you make it visible. So yeah, so this is how the score works. Okay, so yeah, and then、uh, I made the game over screen here. Yeah, so just tap visible, and then once you see once any if there is any any trash x and y equals sharks x or y, then that's go to switch and turn on the game over. Yeah. Okay. So this is the whole walkthrough of the game, and thanks for for watching. And、uh, hopefully, see you next time. Okay. Then. Okay. So hopefully, see you next time. And let me show you the the result. So sharks x y equals minus x y. Right. And then sharks is looping. And money is falling randomly because the delay time is different. Okay, and then when you hit, and when the trash is x y equals shock is x y, and it's over. And when you click it, it start over again. Okay, <laughs> okay, it's better to refresh it. Okay, okay. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.